From the Experimental Television Center in the unfashionable part of New York's Lower East Side, it's time for Public Abscess, not starring Bill Parkhurst, and without Molly Katz, with this week's special guest, the New York City Brass Entourage, and the Puppet Company, also featuring newsboys from the Post and the Daily News, and a live interview with a professional basketball player. And now, here aren't Bill and Molly. Okay, so what are we going to do now, wise guys? You know, we, our hosts are on you vacation. Go, you go, come on. Oh, come on, you're kidding. No, what? Up, ahead, up, up. Oh, my. This is my chance. I can make a statement. I can say something to people like me. My fellow Americans. My fellow Americans. You and I must stick together to fight rising inflation and declining productivity. On one hand, we have domestic problems. And on the other hand, we have foreign turmoil. We must arm ourselves and stand firm and erect as we face with open hands the days before us. Uh, excuse me, I've just been handed this announcement uh, due, to, uh, uh, due to a recent reversal of Mayor Koch's uh, decision on bike lanes, Channel D has been forced to cancel the exciting adventure series, Bike Lane Altercations, replacing it with reruns of the long-running favorite, Draft Evasion Stories. It'll be seen in, in the same time slot following the compelling drama, Portable Radio Summons Court. And immediately afterward, Channel D will present the world television premiere of Clint Eastwood and the classic Dirty Nose de Bergerac. It seems that there's a 44 Magnum up Cyrano's nose, and each time he blows it, it's not healthy for his enemies. Well, this week, as always, our show is brought to you by Personet, the woman's magazine, and by the unabridged imaginary history of the world. Yes, the unabridged imaginary history of the world will startle and amaze you with facts that you never believed possible. And in fact, you were right. Did you know that Christopher Columbus didn't discover America? He fell off the edge of the earth. Where were you the, the day that John F. Kennedy died of self-inflicted wounds? Yes, all this and more is available in this unique, one-of-a-kind compendium of fict and faction. Why, to fabricate these lame explanations yourself would take hundreds of milliseconds. The unabridged imaginary history of the world. Facts you can't get in any other volume. Yep. And it kills roaches on contact. Yeah. Available in the throwaway cover with the disposable book. Well, uh, I was going to read to you an article uh, on black holes and antimatter from the New York Times, but my newspaper seems to have disappeared. Strange. Well, it's just as well. I wanted to talk to you about some important points, namely your failure to notify people in the, in the TV industry about our show. You know, I've tried to be a comedian, but you've laughed at me. 